now set for our opening bout of the night in the middleweight division. It's Luis Diogo of Portugal versus Jonas Correa of Brazil. Our tale of the tape is presented by Clearweather Shoes, less corporate, more independent. All right, there we go. Oh man, the, the only thing that jumps out right here is the height, arm reach, and leg reach advantage of Correa that he has. So he will try to keep his opponent on the outside of his reach while Diogo is gonna try to fight inside his reach. Amongst the many celebrities in attendance tonight is our Karate Combat Pit announcer. Here's the legendary Danny Trejo. Fighters, advance! All right, here we go. I can't wait, my friend. This is going to be crazy. corner, Luis Loco. In the blue corner, Luis Correa. Fighters, enter the pit. Bow. Step back, step back. Ready? Fight! Fighters, fight! All right, now let's see if Correa is going to use his reach advantage. There is a call, one, two, very nice. Red glove tape for Luis Diogo, blue glove tape for Jonas Correa, Wayne Spinola, the referee. This again, our first of nine bouts on this stack karate combat Hollywood card. I like Guerrero coming with a one-two and a left high kick. That's nice, especially if they block that last punch of his. It bypasses that defense. His opponent is waiting almost like looking for a back kick. Slow if stalking. Guerrero comes forward. Stalking pressure from Jonas Correa. Moved to the United States go, 12 years ago from his native Brazil. <laughs> Takes a spinning back kick, throws the head kick, lands the left hand. So yeah, at least I, you know, I said he was going to throw a back kick. He missed it, though. Saw Diogo go for the takedown attempt. He's been cross-training extensively in Sancho. He's put an emphasis on takedowns and ground and pound entering this fight. Oh, he came in prepared. Nice. Yes, for the people at home, there will be takedowns, and then you can ground and pound your opponent for five seconds, go, not guys, more, go. and it all counts. Or, of course, you gotta stop him, and then you win by knockout. See the switch of stances? Back to the center of the pit. Good low kick landed by Kohea. The uppercut. Watch the uppercut. Heard the warning from referee Wayne Spinola. Watch the uppercut. That is an illegal strike under this karate combat rule set. Yeah, Diogo needs to come closer in order to be effective. He needs to fight inside that reach break. of Correa. Stop, stop, break clean. Go, fight. And break right back to it. Back to the center of the karate combat pit. One, two, the counter kick, the body shot, that lands flush. Down goes Diogo. And there we have the five seconds, round and pound. Big shots. Five seconds elapsed, that's the stand up from Spinola. And you see Kohea taking full advantage of that five second ground and pound rule. Yeah, he did a nice job. One minute remaining, round number one. Again, this and all fights tonight in Karate Combat Hollywood, scheduled for three three minute rounds. If a fight okay, ends in a draw after nine minutes, there is an additional three minute overtime round. On the rear team kick from Kohea. Oh, oh, beautiful. Getting his back leg kicked out low, now looking for the single leg, transitioning to the double, back to the single for Diogo, can't find it. You know, I like that. That kick came at the moment he didn't expect it. His muscles around his calves were relaxed, so it penetrates straight through. Once the muscles are relaxed and you get kicked there, that hurts. 
Fernandez. He really likes the one-two with a right high kick or a right roundhouse kick. And Cohea staying very long thus far, boss. Yep. That's what he told us he wanted to do. Stay on the outside, jabs and kicks from range. We're seeing that on full display in round number one. Spinning back kick, nothing there. Again, there's the rear teep on the entry. Good left hand on the exit, the end of round one. Oh, let's take a look at the replay. That did one two with the roundhouse kick. And immediately he takes advantage of the five second ground and pound rule, as you can see over there. One more time, and that's that left kick landed. And there we go ground and pound. Very smart. Referee came in to stop it. I would have loved to see it two more seconds going through because he stopped it at three seconds. Heard the seconds out whistle. One minute rest between rounds. Second into the pitch, Jonas Cohea. Round two, fight! The publisher, he published a whole bunch of books, this guy. He's written four books, both in English and his native Portuguese. Prides himself on being a very smart, tactical, cerebral fighter. And you could see there he has uh, pitch control, as we call it, round and pound again, but the way he moved away from the, he wins it. Big shot, oh, that's five seconds, the oh, stand up wow. from Spinola. Diogo literally just holding on, turtling down, eating those shots. Yeah, but that was not intelligently defending yourself, right? So they could have stopped that, he shouldn't do that. Again, you see Diego, he's continually been hunting the double and the single. Shot with the low single, then the double there. Yeah, he needs to close it to him, and he figured if it's on the ground, <laughs> then I can do some ground and pound. The reach is going to be in my advantage. I like the way that Correa was moving away from the wall just before it went to the ground there. So he knows exactly where he is in the pit. Diego talked a lot about side to side lateral movement in our fighter meeting. Largely that's been absent, just avoided that kick. Spinning back fist off the mark. Yeah, that connects. That could pro uh, be a problem. Switch of stances from Cohea. This is with the rear roundhouse. Forward on the straight line is Diogo, but again, absent is that lateral movement. That's it, he needs to, he needs to come in. Diogo needs to force himself inside the region. Was a the nice back kick there, but it was on the way out. So it took a little bit of steam out of it. If he would have been standing still, that could have been a hard kick. And point fighting, that's effective under this karate combat rule set. Not much of a shot. Swing and a miss with the overhand left from Diogo. Struggling to find his best offense. 125 now remaining. Round number two. Spinning back kick, well eluded from Diogo, using the wall. Some nice Mike Geary, front kicks. Mike Geary, it was plural. Let's go guys, gotta keep working, here we go. Let's go. Wayne Spinola, the referee, moving things along. Two outstanding referees on this card, Wayne Spinola and Mike Bell. Familiar to combat sports fans worldwide. Come on, guys, gotta work. Let's go. Can you hear Spinola? And I like that from the referee, moving things along. Definitely slowing down, or both fighters. I think it's Cohea more being tactical, and I think Diogo a bit frustrated. And I like Mike. Mike Bell, you know, he's telling him to fight. Go, because guys, uh, he's one. getting a little, see, he's complain, constantly go. complaining. He says, you're gonna have to fight. There's the Mike Geary again, front kick, and another one. Followed up with punches, roundhouse kick. And for the head kick, Diogo throwing the punch, misses on the spinning back kick. Cohea stepping into that neatly. 25 seconds remaining round number two. Front kick again, effective boss from Jonas Cohea. You know, Cohea should let him escape on one side and wait for him there with a, with a left kick or a right kick. That's what I like to do in the corner. You push somebody in the corner, you give him a little space on one side. That action they're going to take, and then you catch him with a kick or a punch. Low kick nice. down again goes Luis Diogo back to his feet. And a nice take down from him. We are headed to the third and final round. Oh, 
All right, there we go. It's a back kick. Nice back kick to the body. If he would have stand still, stood still, that would have been with big impact. You see, he took the steam out of it because he was moving backwards. Nice low kick there. That was at the end of the round. Start raining down punches right away, but Kyogo there, he flips it around and takes him down on a single leg. Didn't have time for the ground and pound though. Tonight's fights are regulated by the California State Athletic Commission and sanctioned by ISKA. Using this Round unique three. and indeed revolutionary Fight. karate combat rule set. And more aggression from Diogo, and there's that powerful low kick once more to counter. He should use that more often. Set it up with some strikes, though. And especially now, you want to watch out with inside low kicks. We saw that what happened to David Donna in the Greece snapped the shin in half because he hit it the wrong way. So watch out for that. Diogo Boss seems to have abandoned those takedown attempts. He should wait for his opponent to come in, and that's when you should five, go for the day. That kick to the head. Three. Big round two, and pound. One, you hear the five-second count again from Spinola, but right here. Yeah. Jonas right. Cohea has really been effective landing those powerful round and pound shots in this fight thus far. Yeah, the problem was though he, he went on his knees, so he didn't have a lot of space to generate a lot of force. Would have been better to stay on the feet. He has used his reach, his range very well in this fight thus far. Two minutes remaining, third and final round. Spinning back kick, nothing there. And again, we saw it in round two. Kohea stepping into that kick to That's negate it. it. Yep. The Ushiro Giri. Gotta work, gotta work, gotta as they work, call it. Win Spinola again, encouraging action between these two fighters. Luis Diogo of Portugal, Jonas Kohea of Brazil, now based in the United States. Heavy breathing from Diogo. Takes a backward step. He needs to wait for his opponent, Correa, attacks, and that he should use to go for a take. That front kick is very effective. Now he threw it with the right. Charging Can't forward with the punches. Stalemate position. Had the underhook, did Correa, but again, you have to hit an immediate takedown or throw. Shiro Yodan Gear, there was a back kick to the head. There was not a spinning one, so it was not an Uramawashi. Under this rule set, you cannot grapple. If you clinch, you have to throw or go immediately for the takedown. You can't use it to hold. Yeah. All about action here at Karate Combat. Feeling each other out. Look, there's that back kick again. He should lean that in, you know, with a cross hook and then spin. 40 okay. seconds now remaining, third and final round. That's a powerful kick. Spinning back fist, nothing there though from Diogo. Closing stages, boss. I think Diogo really has to try to open up now in the few seconds remaining. Yeah, and otherwise, he, he needs to stop at round number three. Because right now, he is behind on points. In my book. The bell, the end of the fight. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. That was Nora Ushiro Mawashigiri. To the head, so you can add the word Yodan, which means head. <laughs> Boss Jonas Coea, very clear-eyed, said he had a strategy. He wanted to stay on the outside, be long with his strikes. That's what we saw large in part over nine minutes. Yeah, that low kick's been using very effective. Also, the front kick has been using very effective. Left and right, that was the left one. Tripped him off there, went right away into ground and pound in round number one and round number two here. Those back kicks, they find their target, but every time they find the target when Coea is moving out. And that's why it doesn't have a lot of snap on it. Man, if he can catch him, look at the ground and pound there. He lost his balance, and now he's too close to generate a lot of force. What I always tell people is the longer a strike travels, the more power it has. So make sure you're away from your opponent. Three judges scoring pitch side. Again, a sign by the California State Athletic Commission scoring on the 10-point must system. The 
this one. An overtime round is a possibility. I don't think so. I think so. this is going to be Kohea's win. Yeah, I think so too. A show of sportsmanship, nice moment between these two fighters. To learn the winner of this fight, we go to Danny Trejo. The winner by unanimous decision, Zonas Correa. Yep, that's what we thought, Sean. He was pressing the action, just connected more with his hands and his kicks, and then he had to take us with the ground and pound. Strong ground and pound, Diogo really could never get in his range, couldn't fight in the pocket, couldn't find his takedowns. Yeah, those back kicks, they were really great back kicks, but he should have waited till Correa moves in and then throw that back kick, because then it's like two trains hitting each other. That it's going to be effective. A strong performance from the published author and fighter, the winner by way of unanimous decision in our opening bout of the evening, Jonas Correa defeats Luis Diogo.